You're on course for a visual landing approach into Nice Côte d'Azur. Autothrust is going to handle power management, so our main objective is to control the pitch to stay on the glide slope. The beauty of fly-by-wire means you only need to use the stick when you want to make attitude adjustments. Anytime you return the stick to the center point, the aircraft will keep to the current attitude. All right, as long as the auto thrust is on, the speed will be automatically managed. Throttle should stay on the climb detent. Just focus on the trajectory to begin. Remember, fly-by-wire doesn't need a lot of corrective input. Just keep making small adjustments to pitch and roll as necessary. See the screw on the dash above the PFD? Use that as a guideline to keep us centered on the runway. Look to the right of the runway at the four colored lights called Pappy. They'll give feedback to stay within a three degree glide slope all the way down. We're a little too far out to read the colors yet, but when we're closer, the four lights will tell us how we're doing. If the Pappy shows two white lights and two reds, then we're on target. Four white lights means we're too high. Four red means we're too low. At 20 feet, pull back on the stick to kiss the runway, but be careful to avoid a tail strike. Getting close to the threshold. Now shift your focus down to the end of the runway. Listen for the computer calling out retard, then set thrust to idle. Right on the center line, but pretty rough on the landing. 